Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I actually posted a picture on Instagram yesterday. I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday with this same exact look and so many of you guys seem to like it. So I figured I would film this video for you guys. Although I don't want to take like complete credit because um, Kathleen Lights just uploaded like a red lips makeup tutorial where she created like three different looks um, to complement red lips. And one of the looks really, really inspired me. So this is very, very similar to the look that she created created so I do not want to take 100% credit because I don't think it's right so definitely make sure to check out her video down below so I recreated her look and I really really like the way that it turned out this video is going to be a voiceover just because I really just wanted to sit down and just film my makeup and listen to music so that is why this video is going to be a voiceover I hope you guys don't mind that. I do try to switch it up. I haven't done a voiceover in so long. I really like it because you can create a winged kind of like eyeshadow effect without using eyeliner. I did use tape for this video and just strictly eyeshadows. So for this eyeshadow look, I did mainly use the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. And I only used three colors. Actually, I used four colors for this look. One of the colors is out of the Naked Cherry palette, but it's just this kind of like white vanilla shade just because she doesn't have one in this palette. But this is a complete matte eye look besides the inner corner and the brow bone highlight. I love this classic like winged eye effect with red lips. I think it's so stunning and would look good on everybody. But yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to do so down below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video so if you guys want to see how to recreate this look then let's just jump right in okay so starting off I'm going in with this shade right here this is a Kylie brush I don't know what the actual name of this is but you want to use tape for this because this is what gives you the kind of like winged out effect without really any effort at all I highly recommend trying this if you are someone that really doesn't like to do winged liner or you struggle with it it makes such a difference so you just want to line the tape up with the corner of your eye and then kind of meeting the outer um, brow and so what I'm doing is I'm just pushing this color kind of like a liner but not really if you guys watch you'll know what I mean I'm putting it more in the outer corner and then blending it into the crease but I'm also kind of like pushing this up against my lash line like I would with eyeliner if that makes sense And then for our next shade, I'm going into this kind of like medium reddish brown. And I'm going in with a Morphe E50, or no, this is a Sigma E55 brush. And I'm just going to push this up against my lash line like I would eyeliner, except I'm just going to kind of like fluff this out. Like it doesn't need to be a perfect straight line. And that's why I really like this look because you don't really need it to be perfect, if that makes sense. So you're going to definitely work in layers as you will see, but I'm just pushing this kind of up against my lash line and then I'm also flicking it out up against the tape. Okay, now dipping in to this kind of like darker brown shade, I'm just going in with this brush. It's a flat shader brush, but I'm not sure what the brand is because it doesn't say on the brush. But I'm just going to put this closest to my lash line just so we kind of have like an ombre effect. And you will see I will go in with the other brush that I was using with the other color. And I'm going to kind of like um, kind of like smudge that out so it kind of just like fades up. I don't want any like harsh line. The only harsh line I really want is where the tape is because I want it to look like that cat eyed effect. But we want it to look nice and seamless. 
So you just want to work in layers and blend. Don't get frustrated if it doesn't look this way right away. You just really want to work in layers. So now I'm going in with the black in the palette and I'm pushing this again closest to my lash line and as you can see there's a subtle gradient where each brown shade is and that's what makes this look so stunning. I'm obsessed with this eye look. It's literally all I've been wearing and I just love it. It does take a little bit of time so I definitely don't do this if I'm in a rush but I just think the end result is so, so, so stunning. I love it so much. So now I'm going into the Urban Decay palette. You don't need this palette to use to do this look. Um, you just need a kind of like lighter shade. Now I'm using this to just kind of clean up the inner corner and just brighten it a little bit. You don't need to do this step, but I feel like it just makes my eyes pop a little bit more and I just really like how it kind of cleans everything up. So I'm just using my finger for this and just blending it out. Alright, so now I'm just going to apply some lashes. These are the Euphoria by Jazzy Lashes in the style Devoted. They're so stunning. Love them so much. So now I'm moving back to the face. I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Primer. I really like this to fill in my pores just so that the foundation looks flawless. I really wanted like a flawless finish and of course I'm breaking out, which is lovely. Love that for myself. Great. Um, so now we are going in with foundation. This is the NARS Natural Radiate Foundation. As you can see, my skin is a lot tanner than my face, so I am matching my foundation to my neck. I love this foundation, you guys. It gives such a flawless finish, and it lasts for such a long time. I was able to get like a complete like 12-hour wear with this foundation, and it still looked so, so nice. So I highly recommend. It's such a great foundation. So... I'm using the Tarte brush. I don't know what the name of this is, but I have fallen in love with it. It blends my foundation out in such a short amount of time, and it also gives me such full coverage because when I use a beauty sponge, it kind of like melts down the product and kind of blends into my skin a little bit more. So I've been liking using a brush for like a full coverage look. Now we're going in with concealer. This is the Jouer High Coverage Concealer. This concealer has become my new favorite. It is so, so good and it blends out amazing. It barely creases, but I am going to set it just because I, I want it to stay in place for a while. So I am using my Real Techniques sponge and I'm just going to blend that out. All right, I am going to do a little bit of cream contour. You don't need to do this step. It's definitely an extra step, but I like the way it makes my skin look and it also makes everything last a little bit longer. So I'm just going to apply this in the places that I want to contour. All right, next up, just to set um, my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. I love this powder for my under eyes. It really just sets everything and makes it look super like flawless and gives it such like a nice matte look, but it does not look cakey on the under eyes. I really, really enjoy it. All 
And then just to set the rest of the face, I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Dim Light. I just want to apply this on the outer portions of my skin just so that my foundation isn't tacky anymore. And I like this because it gives my skin a tiny bit of a glow. I'm going to move back to the eyes and then we will finish up the face. I'm going in with the Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm just pushing this up against my upper lash line just to kind of blend my lashes. Now I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the color brownie. I just want to apply this on my waterline. And then I'm going to apply the same exact eyeshadows that we did on top in the same order on my lower lash line just to give it like a really nice smoked out effect. All right, moving back to the face, I'm going to set that contour with the Smashbox Cali Contour Palette. I really, really like this palette. You guys know if you've been following me for a while. And I'm just going to put this anywhere that we put that Wet n Wild um, cream contour. And I'm also going to contour my nose a little bit. Alright, now to bronze up the skin, I'm going in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the color Dark. And I'm just going to warm up my skin with this just to bring some color back to our face. But because I am extra, I am going to go into my Hourglass Ambient Bronzer. And I'm just going to use this as kind of like a bronzer topper. I just feel like it gives the skin such a beautiful glow. And then for blush, I'm going in to my Tarte Palette. This is in the color Skillful, unfortunately. They don't sell this, um, I almost said eyeshadow palette. They don't sell this blush palette. And I don't know if you can get the same blush like individually. So now I'm going to highlight with the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors Fuego Highlight. And this highlight is so stunning. It has like a golden undertone to it. And I love using this when my skin is a little bit more tan. Because it just looks so, so stunning. So I'm going to put this on my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, pretty much my whole face. Alright, and now I'm just going to spray my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And then I'm just wiping off any like residue from foundation on my lips because we are going in to do the star of the show, my red lips. I'm going to first line my lips with the NYX Lip Liner in the color Plush Red. And then I'm going in with the ColourPop Liquid Lip in the color Creeper. And I'm just going to place this right on top.
All right, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.